Hi, I'm Sister Kathleen Del Monte, and I'm a sister at St. Scholastica Monastery. I'd like to reflect with you a bit on the rule of St. Benedict. The rule of Benedict, an ancient document written over 1,500 years ago, can really be seen as a guide for living. Tradition says that Benedict and Scholastica were twins, born around the year 480 AD into an upper-class family in Norcia, Italy. Benedict wrote the rule as a guide for living in community. Much of it was drawn from an earlier rule that was more rigid, but St. Benedict made some significant changes. Benedict's rule is known for its simplicity, moderation, common sense, and practicality. It is a vision of a life lived well within community through a daily rhythm of prayer, work, and reflection. In its simplest terms, the rule is a practical guide for both professed Benedictines and lay people. Many people, both Catholic and non-Catholic alike, find it helpful in living out the gospel values established by Jesus. We generally celebrate St. Benedict's Feast Day on March 21st and St. Scholastica's Feast Day on February 10th. As a young man, Benedict was sent to Rome to study, but he did not stay long, for he was very disillusioned by what he felt was the irresolute living of his classmates. He eventually made his way to Subiaco and lived in a cave as a hermit for three years. This monastery of Subiaco, built into a mountain cliff overlooking spectacular natural scenery, enshrines the sacred cave, Sacro Speco, holy or sacred cave, where St. Benedict spent those three years living as a hermit before writing his rule. It is located southeast of Rome. Later, Benedict founded a monastery at Monte Cassino in the sixth century that is still in existence today. It was, of course, not this large in the 500s. Monte Cassino was destroyed several times in its history. The most recent destruction was during World War II, but each time the monastery was rebuilt. It is here that Benedict wrote his rule and where he died. His body, along with Scholastica's, is entombed here. The Benedictine life is grounded in the scriptures and in the rule of Benedict. The rule sets forth a way of life marked by a dedication to seek God in community through prayer, work, and a reflective reading of the scriptures and other spiritual works that Benedictines refer to as Lexio Divina. Seen here is the first page of a hand calligraphied and illuminated copy of the rule done by Sister Mary Charles a member of our community who has since gone home to God, and Meredith Schiffsky, a former faculty member at the College of St. Scholastica. While the rule is an ancient document, it has lasted throughout the centuries because of its values, which demonstrate a great wisdom, understanding of human nature, and common sense. There are many values embedded in the rule of Benedict. Why? because it is based on the gospel of Jesus Christ. Here are just some of the values we can draw from the rule. You might recognize some of these as the core values of your organization. As you reflect on these questions, I invite you to consider the ways in which the rule of Benedict can be a guide for living your life, where you live, work, pray, and play. Thanks for listening. Blessings.